Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a super exciting video. I'm gonna be kind of doing like a part two of a really popular video I did last year. So last year I did a kind of like back to school denim guide, kind of like American Eagle denim fits video. And it was really popular. I was like super surprised. I didn't know. I was like, I feel like people are either going to love this or hate it. And I was like really blown away with the response. So I thought I would kind of do another one for the 2018 back to school year. American Eagle has introduced some denim fits. So really quickly, I do want to say I do work at American Eagle. I've worked there for almost five years now. So I know a lot about the denim fits, the fabric. I know way too much. So I'm just kind of going to be talking about the different denim fits that American Eagle carries. I know if I was a customer walking into American Eagle for the first time, I would probably be very overwhelmed because we've got like super high rise jeggings, high rise jeggings, low rise jeggings, super low rise jeggings, mom jeans, tom girl jeans, favorite boyfriend jeans, kick boots, skinny jeans. It would be super overwhelming and I would not know the difference. So I'm going to be kind of just breaking that down for you guys. Um, you guys love my American Eagle videos. I've done hauls, how to save money at American Eagle, these denim fits videos, shorts fit videos. So I've done kind of a lot of these American Eagle videos and it seems to be the thing that everybody comes back to my channel for. So I hope that you guys love this video. It is going to be probably a little bit redundant to last year, but I there are a lot of fits like the mom jean mostly that are kind of like new. So just kind of doing um, just... A new and refreshed version of last year's video so I've got like a little cheat sheet here I kind of wrote down all of the fits I actually um, just watched our back to school denim fits videos and I made notes on the receipts of like the fits and I lost them so I would just like to announce I am gonna be doing a back to school series on my channel so this video like isn't really officially part of the series but it kind of is um, so every Friday in August but I might actually start at the last Friday of July I'm gonna be doing a back to school themed video so I've already planned most of them out most of them are gonna be outfit themed I think I'm gonna do like a what's in my backpack I'm gonna do a how to organize and plan video because I get a lot of requests for that so make sure to subscribe so you can be notified on that so super excited about it I did a travel series this summer and I just loved having kind of like a theme for my videos for one of my upload days so I wanted to like kind of continue that so I thought back to school would be like a great series idea so um, yeah kind of like this video, I just really wanted to get it up because I've, you know, I feel like this is a good time to do this like denim guide video. Um, but the rest of my back to school videos are coming. I'm going to do an entire um, like month's worth. I'll probably do like at least six or seven videos in my back to school series. So make sure to subscribe. It'll be every Friday in August and then maybe a couple in July as well. Like quickly before we get into this, I just want to mention, I, w I posted about this on my Instagram and I was going to make a whole separate video, but then I decided I'd just mention it in this video. So um, I do have a Poshmark account and I sell a lot of American Eagle clothes on there. So obviously if you're watching this video, you probably like American Eagle a little bit. Um, so check out my Poshmark. I'll put a little screen thing right here so you can see it. My Poshmark closet is Emily Grace. 266. Um, I actually have a link in the description box below. If you click on that link to download the app, it helps me out immensely. So I would appreciate it so much if you don't already have the app, if you can click that link. Um, but yeah, I have a Poshmark account. I just posted a whole bunch of jeans for back to school. Um, I might go through and sell some more jeans. I'm not really sure, but this is just kind of like my first round of going through my jeans. I'm constantly posting some American Eagle clothes on there. So um, check that out if you like American Eagle clothes. Also, a bunch of my friends have really gotten into Poshmark. My best friend Riley, who works at American Eagle, my sister, who wears a lot of American Eagle, my other friend Michaela, who wears a lot of American Eagle. So I am going to link their Poshmarks in the description below. I'll kind of like show it on the screen as well. So check out their Poshmarks because their Poshmarks are really similar to mine. Actually, they have a lot of the same items that I do. So check out their Poshmarks because if you like mine, it's just kind of like more of the same of mine. Um, lots of jeans, lots of shorts, lots of tops, um, lots of sweaters when we get to that season. So I just thought I'd mention that in this video. I was going to do a whole video like selling my clothes. But before we get into it, one more last thing. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. I post a lot on there. I post a lot of outfit pictures. I post a lot of my stories. Now there's the whole new question feature, so I'll do lots of Q&A. So if you guys want to keep up to date on me, like on a personal level about my life and everything, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Let's go ahead and get into this video. I am going to start off with what the um, styles that are carried in most stores. So this kind of depends on the store itself, kind of like the size of the store. So these are the 
the bits I'm going over first are going to be the ones that are carried in most stores. Like I said, if it's a bigger store, some of the online exclusives that I'm going to be going over might be carried in those stores. So, so I'm going to go over kind of like the basic main ones and then I'll kind of go into the online exclusive fits. I just didn't want to go over all the fits in general because I feel like it could get confusing on like what ones you'll find in store and which ones are going to be online exclusives. I feel like the online exclusive ones are like added for a season, taken off, changed for a season. They're not like our core fits. Um, whereas the ones in store, like the jagging skinny kick boot that I'm gonna be going over, are the ones that we've had in stores for the last five years. We'll probably have them in stores for the next five years. They don't really change, they're always in stores. And all the ones that we do carry in store, I'm gonna be trying on for you. I'm gonna show you what the fit look like fits look like. The online exclusives, however, I can't try on because we've got this many online exclusives and I can't order all of those. As much as I want to try them all on for you, I can't just order all those and buy them and just like return them or just like that'd be a lot of money if I just like bought all of those. So um, also the thing is a lot of the ones, the online are going to be really similar to what we have in store, but just slightly higher rise or slightly maybe cropped. So I'll kind of get into that, but a lot of them are going to be very similar fits to what we have in store, but I'm just going to be mostly focusing on the ones that we have in store and then I'll briefly go over the ones that we have online. In store, we're going to start with the jeggings. This is so weird. I feel like I'm like training you guys. Like I feel like your employees, I feel like I'm a manager again. Like I used to be um, a manager for like two, two and a half years. I just transitioned, I'm back to an associate now. Super weird. But I feel like I'm a manager and you guys are like my associates and I'm training you, so. American Eagle Orientation with Emily. Jegging, that is the slimmest fit. So if you go into the store and you want a skinny jean, like you want a tight, slim, tight fit, tight in the ankle, tight everywhere, tightness, um, you are gonna want the jegging. We have lots of different forms of the jegging. So we're gonna start kind of with the super high-rise jegging. The super high-rise is my personal fit. I've talked about this in a lot of different videos. The super high-rise fit is going to be, like it says, super high-rise. It's going to hit kind of like right at or above the belly button. So right below the natural waist. Um, super nice. I love where the super high-rise fits on my waist. It's just like that perfect, perfect sweet spot on your waist and they just are perfect. So I love the super high rise. I love where they hit my waist. And obviously like because they're jagging, they're going to be tight through the entire leg from the thigh to the knee to the ankle, just all throughout the entire, throughout the entire leg. If you're not familiar with American Eagle jeans, I do want to say it's um, a double zero zero two kind of even sizing and they're shorts, regulars, longs and extra longs. And I think I heard rumors of there possibly being an extra short, but I'm not sure if that's like a thing yet. If you do go into a store and you're tall and you're only seeing regulars, just ask like an associate if they have some longs. If not, they can order them for you. They'll ship it straight to your house for free, two to five days. Um, you'll still get the buy one, get one half, just as if you were in the store. So if you're in the store, don't be afraid to ask. They'd be happy to order online for you. So order in store, it makes it easier on you because you're gonna get faster shipping and you're gonna get free shipping and you're gonna get the deals like you would in the store. So it makes it easier on you. So just something to mention, I feel like that's something a lot of people don't know about. So um, yeah, so if you find one you like and they don't have your size in another one, just have them order it for you. It doesn't matter if it's an online exclusive size or style or if it's one they have in store. It doesn't matter. We'll order it anytime. That is the super high rise. Like I said, I love them. If you've ever tried on the Topshop Jamie jeans or you've ever heard people talk about them, the super high rise is kind of like a dupe to the Jamie jeans. Next up is the high rise jigging. So the high rise jigging are going to be similar to the super high rise jigging, except they're just going to be a little bit lower on the waist. So instead of hitting at or above your belly button, they're going to hit at or below your belly button. Just so slightly lower, probably the only the difference of like an inch or maybe an inch and a half lower. It kind of depends on your torso though. Cause if you have a lower or a smaller torso or a longer torso, it might hit at a slightly different spot on you, but this is just kind of like in general, like averagely where they hit people. So that's the high rise jigging. Again, it's going to be tight and it's going to fit the exact same through the leg as the super high rise jigging. We also have a high rise jigging crop. So this is basically just like a capri. It's gonna be just like the high rise jigging that I just mentioned, except for it's just gonna be a little bit shorter at the ankle instead of hitting like, like a normal jean would, kind of like below your ankle. It's gonna hit like right above the ankle. So just gonna be kind of like a little bit of a cropped fit, not really a capri, because I think of a capri as like kind of like halfway through your shin or what, like at your shin or whatever. Um, but this is just gonna be like an ankle fit, you know, like an ankle grazer kind of jean. So that's the high rise jigging crop, which we usually only carry typically from like February, kind of like starting of spring break, like February-ish to kind of like right now we're kind of like, they're kind of starting to go away. So usually like February 
to July, August-ish is when we carry the crops. So next up is just the standard jigging. So the standard jigging is not gonna be any high rise. It's kind of like the original low rise, but I feel like when I say low rise, it scares people off. Like they think it's gonna be really low, like, you know, like the 2000s, like this little tiny zipper and just like really, really low. And they're not, they're not gonna be really low or anything. They're just gonna be normal. They're not really gonna be high rise. They're not gonna really be necessarily low rise they're just gonna hit at a normal spot like at your normal like kind of like hip bones I guess just kind of like at your like just where a je pair of jeans would normally hit when they're not high rise like before high rise was a thing it's just like the regular standard kind of like first true skinny jean that we carry just like first tight jean before high rise so those are the jiggings so now we are gonna move on to the skinny jeans so the skinny jean is really actually not a skinny jean like if you come in wanting a skinny jean you want to buy the jegging and i forgot to say people have this thing like associated with jeggings they think jeggings are going to be like this thin like legging like material and they're not real jeans um not true for american eagle might be true for some brands but not american eagle the jeggings are going to be the exact same fabric as all of our other jeans all of our jeans are going to be the same fabric the jeggings are just going to be the tightest fit of our jeans so not any kind of like thinner fabric or anything the skinnies are going to be more of a straight leg so even though they're called the skinnies they're actually going to be pretty straight so i'm going to show you when i tried them on like they're just kind of straightish they're in between a straight and a skinny so i don't like all that extra kind of material at the bottom they're about like maybe a half inch to an inch more a fabric so like the jeggings hug your ankle whereas these kind of like you just have more fabric at the bottom which some people like they don't want them that tight on them especially like moms that come in um, a lot of times we'll go for the skinny or just people that don't want them so tight so they're still going to be slim and tight kind of through the thigh to the knee and then once you kind of hit the knee they're going to start to get a little bit straighter towards the bottom kind of from the knee down next up is the kick boot so the kick boot is exactly what it sounds like it's just a traditional boot cut jean it's not really a flare jean it's just a boot cut so it's going to be slim through the thigh slim through the knee and it's really not going to kick out or anything until you get to the to the shin or ankle and it's just going to be a kick it's not going to be a flare it's just going to be a kick so i'll show you kind of like me trying it on i feel like that's kind of the best explanation i can give you just like a subtle boot cut for somebody who does want you know not a skinny or straight or tight kind of like jean they want something a little boot cut that would be your go-to or a lot of people can't really wear those kind of jeans for their jobs kick boot is going to be our kind of like classic boot cut jean Moving on to Tom Girl and Mom Jean. So all of the jeans that I previously mentioned are all going to be made with stretchy fabric. And when I say stretchy, I don't mean like thin, stretchy legging material. Um, if you've tried out American Eagle jeans, you know what I'm talking about. They're just, our fabric is so amazing. It's thick and it's jean-like, but it's also just really comfortable. It's like honestly like the most comfortable jeans. Like I do have a few jeans from other brands, but American Eagle's jeans are bomb. Super comfortable, kind of thick but stretchy, but soft, cottony fabric. It's amazing. The ones, the jean fits that I just mentioned before are all going to be like the stretchy denim. Tom Girl and Mom Jean are going to be a traditional denim. So when you pull them, they're not going to stretch. They're not going to give. They're just going to be a traditional denim with no stretch. None at all whatsoever. So let's see, which one should I start with? Tom Girl. We'll go with the Tom Girl because it's been around longer. The Tom Girl is going to be your loose boyfriend jean. So when people come in and they want a boyfriend jean, it's going to like be very relaxed, like very, 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 very loose and very relaxed, kind of hang low on the hip. I mean, it could be worn as like a high rise if you were to like go down a size, but it's supposed to be very big. So it's just kind of like, you know, relax. Like it's, it's on your hips. It's loose, kind of like, not like it's falling down, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just like loose and relaxed on the hips the jeans are going to be very loose and baggy just kind of throughout throughout the legs the knees the legs um did i say that thighs knees legs um they're just gonna be really baggy they're a little bit of a shorter inseam i think because for me they hit like kind of like right above my ankle um that's kind of the tom girls just kind of like a boyfriend fit the clip that i'm trying this on in i actually had went down a size because whenever i stick to my true size in the tom girl they're typically just like really loose and they're just like so loose and so big and I have to like wear a belt with them and they're just like so big. So I usually like to go down a size and they're so they're not like so big. But then you kind of lose a lot of that like 
boyfriend fit because they're going to be a little bit tighter. So it just kind of depends on how you want them to fit. Um, but I kind of like the Tom Girls down a size and not quite as loose. Obviously, if you stick to your true, to your true size, they're going to be quite a bit looser than they are in the clips I'm showing you. The mom jean. The mom jean is 10 out of 10. I'm obsessed with mom jean. Like, the mom jean is, like, probably, like, my current... I don't want to say my current favorite because the super high rise are, like, my... Like, my fave. The mom jean are, like, really coming in, like, as a close second to the super high rise. Like, I love them so much. Like, I just cannot get enough of the mom jean right now. I feel like the mom jean is really flattering on different body types. I feel like it's just really flattering, like, on everybody. Like, I have co-workers that are really tall and really thin that it looks good on. I have co-workers that are, like, shorter and curvier that it looks good on. Like, I feel like the mom jean is just really, like, everybody loves it. I feel like everybody tries it on and loves it. The mom jean is going to be, like, that vintage Levi's kind of vibe. Like, it's going to be really high-waisted. Actually, I think a little bit more than the super high-rise, but just barely about the same as the super high-rise. It's going to hit kind of, like, at or above your belly button. Once again, kind of, like, right at your natural kind of waist, the smallest part of your waist, kind of, like, right here. It's going to hit there, um, which I think is the most flattering for jeans when it hits at that smaller part of your waist. This is going to be a traditional denim, so it's going to have absolutely no stretch. But anyways, mom jeans are going to be slim, fitting, tight, through the thighs to the knee and then kind of once you hit that knee they're going to be more straight towards the rest of the bottom so that's what i kind of really like about the mom jeans because i feel like some styles are going to be too loose at the top which i don't like or too tight at the bottom so american eagles mom jeans are the perfect mix of tight at the top and they get looser and straighter at the bottom if you haven't tried them you should definitely give them a try i think the first time i tried them on i hated them and the people i worked with were like eh, they're not very flattering like mm. but then um i think i tried a size smaller and I liked them better but I'm kind of like in between two sizes if I get a six they're more of a looser kind of boyfriend fit mom jean if I get a four they're more of a tighter fitting mom jean which is what I prefer I don't really like them as loose so if you stick with your true size they might be a little bit more loose and boyfriend like if you go a size smaller they'll probably be a little bit tighter so it just kind of depends on what you like so all of those fits that I just went over are going to be carried in all stores no matter how size small your store is or how big your store is these styles are kind of like the main styles of jeans that we have so these should be carried in all stores so now i'm just going to briefly kind of go over the online styles a lot of them are just going to be kind of like slight changes to the ones i kind of already mentioned so you'll kind of get what i mean when i'm talking about these the first one is the highest rise which my store actually which most stores did carry last year in stores for a short time um the highest rise is just going to be a little bit higher than the super high rise i think by like an inch for me personally i love a good really high waisted jean um but these were actually just a little bit too high for my liking i felt like they just were way too too much they say that they hit at your natural waist but i think they hit above that smallest part of your waist and they just were too far i did have a lot of customers though that came in that loved them so again i think if you are somebody who has maybe a longer torso and the super high rise hits a little lower than what you like it probably be good but because i have an average maybe size torso that might be why i didn't like them on me it, i felt like it just kind of cut me off it was too much it was like all of my stomach was covered with the jeans um so yeah so if you have a longer torso the highest rise would probably be for you but if you are on the shorter side probably wouldn't like them some outlet stores i believe are carrying the high, highest rise so moving on the next one is the high rise crop flare so these are gonna be one of those cropped ones that i'm talking about that are just kind of like in the spring to back to school season the capris but they're not like really capris um so the high-rise crop flare is going to be the high-rise kind of how we talked about with the high-rise jigging it's going to be at or below the belly button um these are going to be slim through the leg and knee and then kind of once you hit that knee to like mid shin they're going to flare out so i'm going to show a picture from the website so you can kind of see what they look like since i don't personally own them and i can't just buy all of these online styles i have had some returned in store and they are actually pretty cute if you can like pull them off i think if you have the right shoes and the right outfit these could be really cute um so yeah these would definitely be cute next up is the artist crop we used to carry these in stores for years i'm really shocked that we didn't carry them this year so the artist crop again is like another one of those styles anything with the word crop is going to be kind of like the capri a little bit more of a true capri like it really did hit more like mid shin maybe a little bit longer but um the artist crop was really the only capri that we had in store that wasn't tight because most of the capris we have in store are jagging so they're all like the tighter fit it would just be kind of like 
slim-ish through kind of like the thigh to knee and then they would kind of um, flare out and get a little bit looser kind of from the knee to the ankle slash bottom of them. So they were just kind of like a capri for those that didn't want a super tight capri. So that's the artist crop. This is the wide leg crop. I think this is a newer one. They're just going to be like a super high race fit and then they're going to be like loose through the thigh and a wide straight leg. So they're going to be a straight leg but they're going to be wide. So instead of being like straight skinny they're gonna be a really wide straight style and they're gonna be looser through the thigh and they're gonna be like a cropped inseam next up is the high-rise tom girl so i kind of already talked about the tom girl so the high-rise tom girl are gonna be like the tom girls i mentioned before like the boyfriend fit except for these are gonna be high-rise so they'll just hit kind of like at or below your belly button so if you like the tom girls but you want some that are a little bit higher you can order the high-rise tom girls online next up is the high-rise girlfriend and i really wanted to order these online so i could have them for this video and try them on because this is a fit that i don't really know much about um like i said most of these online exclusives are just kind of like different alterations of the ones we have in store the high-rise girlfriend i don't really know much about to be perfectly honest with you i did have one returned in my store so i tried to like kind of like look at it and be like what is the difference between this and the mom jean and honestly i don't really notice a huge difference between the high-rise girlfriend and the mom jean the main difference I would say would be that the mom jeans are really really high-waisted and the high-rise girlfriend are not gonna be as high-waisted they're gonna be again at or below your belly button whereas the mom jean are gonna be really high-waisted like a good couple inches higher than the high-rise girlfriend I think the high-rise girlfriend are gonna be a little bit looser so whereas the mom jeans are tight through the thigh and then they're gonna be straight at the bottom but kind of like taper towards the ankle the girlfriends are just gonna be kind of how the tom girls are kind of like loose throughout i think the girlfriends are just going to be kind of like loose slash straight throughout the whole entire leg that's kind of like my take on what the difference is between the girlfriend and the mom jean but again i haven't really tried them on for myself so it's hard for me to say the one i had returned was a zero so there was no way i was fitting into that honestly the girl high-rise girlfriends that we had returned looked hardly different from the mom jeans so that's kind of like my guess on what the girlfriend would be like just from the descriptions and videos i've watched um, but like I said, it's hard to say when you haven't actually tried them on. Next up is the high-rise skinny. So again, it's just going to be like the skinny I mentioned before, but a high-rise fit, not much more of an explanation. Next up is the skinny kick. So it's going to be like how it sounds, like a skinny mixed with a kick boot. It's going to be um, very skinny through the leg. So tight, slim, kind of like through the thigh, through the knee, through the leg, and then kind of at the very bottom of the ankle, it's just going to slightly kick out just like a little baby kick boot like not a not a whole boot cut but just a little just a little kick just like a little baby kick so if you don't want if the kick boots too much for you but you want a little more than what the straight is offering or the what the skinny is offering um, try the skinny kick next up is the high-rise artist flare so these are gonna be our flare jeans for those of you guys um, who like flare jeans so the artist is American Eagles flare jean so the high-rise is obviously just gonna be the high-rise version of it um, again remember high-rise means at or below the belly button it's just gonna be it's kind of like pretty slim through the thigh and then kind of once you hit that knee it's going to start flaring but not quite at the knee but you'll see in the picture it'll just kind of like start to flare out and it's going to be a pretty wide flare I think it's a good few inches more than the boot cut so quite a big difference um, but that's the artist flare and then we have a high rise artist flare and then just a regular artist flare so whether you like the high rise or whether you don't we have both and we have a regular wide leg so if you liked that wide leg crop that I talked about earlier we have that in a non crop so the wide leg again was just going to be that super high rise so like really really high waisted it's just going to become really wide when you get to the knee like it's just going to like get really wide but then it's just going to be straight does that make sense so i'll let you look at the picture but yeah that's next up and last up is the favorite boyfriend so the favorite boyfriend is basically a looser version of the kick boot so if the kick boot is a little bit too tight in the thighs the favorite boyfriend is what you would want so the favorite boyfriend is just going to be um looser more relaxed in the thighs still still a slim fit not like extremely baggy but just like a little bit a little bit looser in the thighs and then it's gonna have a boot cut bottom so that is all of the denim fits i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this video was helpful i'm sorry i couldn't like try on all of the fits i really wanted to like i tried to find a way i tried to like look in my store to see like if we had any of these returned unfortunately we just didn't have any of these returned in my size or else i definitely would have tried them on for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching um please give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful for you and helped you for like the back to school jean shopping um make sure to check out the jeans that 
I'm selling on Poshmark and like I said my friends are selling some um, some clothes as well I'm not sure if they're necessarily selling jeans but I will list my friends Poshmarks as well but if you guys like American Eagle I also did a how to save money at American Eagle video where I kind of talked about the loyalty programs you can actually get free jeans you can get money off your purchases um, it's a lot of the same stuff you'll hear when you go shopping in the stores but it's coming from me I've got a back-to-school haul coming very soon I just bought a bunch of stuff so I just feel like I need more for the haul, so I'm gonna do some more shopping. Definitely go check those videos out. I'll add some like cards and some links and I'll link it in the description and all that good stuff. I just wanna say really quickly because I think this is the last video I'm gonna film before my trip, but I'm gonna have eight days straight of vlogs in LA. I'm so excited, so I'm going to LA for eight, day, eight straight days and I'm gonna have vlogs for the eight straight days that I'm there. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when those videos go up. Um, they probably will be pretty random, random times, random days. They should be all kind of like back to back, um, kind of like as the days go on. So make sure to check those out and subscribe so you can see like what I'm up to in LA. So I'm really excited about those. I hope you guys are too. Yeah, that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.